Mohandas Gandhi has become the strongest symbol of non-violence in the 20th century. It is widely held, in retrospect, that the Indian national leader should have been the very man to be selected for the Nobel Peace Prize. He was nominated several times, but was never awarded the prize. Why? Gandhi was nominated in 1937, 1938, 1939, 1947 and, finally, a few days before he was murdered in January 1948. The omission has been publicly regretted by later members of the Nobel Committee, when the Dalai Lama was awarded the Peace Prize in 1989. The chairman of the committee said that this was, in part a tribute to the memory of Mahatma Gandhi. However, the committee has never commented on the speculations as to why Gandhi was not awarded the prize, and until recently the sources which might shed some light on the matter were unavailable. Up to 1960, the Nobel Peace Prize was awarded almost exclusively to Europeans and Americans. In retrospect, the horizon of the Norwegian Nobel Committee may seem too narrow. Gandhi was very different from earlier laureates. He was no real politician or proponent of international law, not primarily a humanitarian relief worker and not an organizer of international peace congresses. He would have belonged to a new breed of laureates. There is no hint in the archives that the Nobel Committee ever took into consideration the possibility of an adverse British reaction to an award to Gandhi. Thus it seems that the hypothesis that the committee's omission of Gandhi was due to its members not wanting to provoke British authorities. In 1947 the conflict between India and Pakistan in Gandhi's prayer meeting statement, which made people wonder whether he was about to abandon his consistent pacifism, seemed to have been the primary reasons why he was not selected by the committee's majority. Unlike the situation today, there was no tradition for the Norwegian Nobel Committee to try to use the Peace Prize as a stimulus for peaceful settlement of regional conflicts. During the last months of his life, Gandhi worked hard to end the violence between Hindus and Muslims which followed the partition of India. About the Nobel Committee's discussions on Gandhi's candidature in 1948 other than the above quoted entry of November 18th in Gunnar John's diary. But it seems clear that they seriously considered a posthumous award. When the committee, for formal reasons, ended up not making such an award, they decided to reserve the prize, and then, one year later, not to spend the prize money for 1948 at all. What many thought should have been Mahatma Gandhi's place on the list of laureates was silently but respectfully left open.